Izzy's magical football adventure and Izzy plays Kamogi. Give us a, an insight into the inspiration that led you to think that seeing sport through the eyes of a child and giving her, in this case, uh, inspiration mm -hmm. to actually go out and play uh, mm -hmm. came from. Okay, um, well, thanks very much for having me. I suppose the, the short answer to that is that I was looking for a book for my daughter. I have three boys and one girl. And when my daughter was around seven, I was looking for a book for her about a topic that she would love to get her involved, um, to get her interest in reading, to spark her interest. Um, football is a big love of hers. And what I realized looking for a book is there are lots of good GA books out there, but none that I could see with um, a female character in the lead role um, with a, a girl on the cover. So I suppose that's the short version of it that's that's where I got the idea Um, I suppose I, I the slightly longer version and I won't keep you long is that I suppose in my 30s I kind of got back into sport which had lapsed a bit in my 20s and rediscovered the joy of sport and a lot of that was through when I moved to Kerry I joined the Gaelic for Mothers and Others football team in my local ladies club um, and rediscovered the joy of football and through that got into running and then into coaching. So when my daughter was kind of approaching under eight, the club asked me, would I like to get involved in coaching? So I said, I would, I, I did the course with the LGFA and I started coaching the under eight girls. Um, so that was all kind of part of my journey of growing back into sport and things like that. Um, so then, as I said, when my daughter was around seven, I was looking for a book for her that she could kind of read independently, you know, kind of a manageable length and, the teacher said to me find something that she loves and she loves football um, and around the same time I had been looking to write about my grandmother my grandmother played camogie for Cork she won three All-Ireland medals and I kind of wanted to write about her but wasn't sure what to write Do you know would it be a blog post or what and there was kind of I suppose that light bulb moment that I could make a children's book here kind of for my daughter and girls like her to kind of help inspire them to keep playing sport but kind of using my grandmother um, she had a, she had a bracelet made of her all Ireland medals so in the book the bracelet is kind of the magical element that takes Izzy on her magical sporting adventures so it was kind of a tribute to my grandmother and to hope to inspire the next generation of of girls and boys because there are there are male characters in it too and um, but I just thought it'd be nice to give girls a book with with a with a female on the on the the cover so. isn't that great that we should find a way that we can honor those that went before and inspire those that come after congratulations um it really Thank is you. a great idea and and i love the fact that it's inspired by gaelic for mothers and others which is one of my favorite programs uh, it's got sponsorship now from sports direct so it's going to get bigger oh, yeah. and better um yeah. Yeah. i know the uh, our club uh, group that, that plays in a train alongside one of the teams that I manage uh, on okay. one of the evenings during the week. They yeah. are loud and proud, and I'm yeah. sure that it's exactly yeah. the same down in, down in Kerry. Oh, it was um, brilliant. It really helped me to make friends when I moved down here and become part of a gang, and sure, we're still great friends to this day. It's, it's brilliant. It's a great initiative. It really is. Yeah. And the, the eyes of a child. So mm -hmm. we do tend to uh, you know, to to create programs and uh, and 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 work on on ideas about what kids are going to like in sport, and and we've got a lot of you know colleagues that are joining us later on this morning to talk about the ways in which that's done. But mm -hmm. do you think do we actually sort of take enough heed of what the kids want to do themselves? I've got some lovely video inserts from Australia, ironically, mm -hmm. as to why kids actually play sport that we'll see throughout the morning. But yeah. do you think that we do? enough because you've obviously got a child's eye that you can see the mm -hmm. stories coming to life in your books yeah I think and I think it's quite simple and I do this in the coaching or I try to do it I think that the fun element for them is huge especially at a young age and I was kind of struck recently I read an article I think to Dr Coleman Nocter and he said in the examiner he said um can we keep the summer camp culture all year or all year round and that kind of struck something in me and I said to the girls at training I said because a lot of them did cool camps and I said what's the most fun thing in cool camp and they all said prison boxes you know the game prison boxes so for the next two weeks of training we played a lot of prison boxes and you know they're practicing their skills without even realizing it in that game and they're just having so much fun and there's a kind of there's a competitive edge to it too and there's teamwork but I think it's kind of asking them what they want to do and keeping it fun um I, I suppose what I always try and do as well is keep the matches small because I think they all they all want to touch the ball and get on the ball and you know we can be too quick to put them into this big team but that'll come if they keep playing football but just sometimes we even play four against four or five against five just keep it small keep them all 
getting on the ball and having fun. I think that's um, that's the way I see it when I chat to them. That's what they seem to want. Yeah. And, and you do chat to them as well because you've been doing well, slightly in advance of in advance of COVID and the lockdowns, you were actually doing it in the classrooms, but you've yeah. been doing virtual visits to schools as well. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, uh, you're a figure that comes into the classroom that's not a teacher and it's not the, their parent, so they, yeah. they might just be able to share a little bit more with you on that. Yeah. How yeah. do you think we're actually managing it in schools, the, the idea of sport? Like you've obviously found champions that will see what you do as being of interest, but are there enough of those teachers that feel an obligation to actually build sport into their day. Yeah, I think any of the the visits I've done probably have been led by teachers who were into sport. You know, people would have said, oh, I played football and I think this is a great idea. Um, I do think, yeah, it can depend on the teacher. Um, I, I'd be a big advocate of PE in schools, you know, that, um, I mean, it's, it's so important. It's as important as any subject, you know, that it not be used as a, a treat or a punishment. PE is just there to be, to be done. Um, yeah, the, um, a lot of teachers are very good and I'm getting more inquiries now and even from the libraries, you know, people who, who see the importance of sport and see how it can be helped, you know, by books like this and that reading and sport can go hand in hand very much. Yeah. The, that, the, the sort of the census to the, the books starting off in, in a very, you know, specific Gaelic games culture, that's mm -hmm. where, where you've come from, where your, yep. your grandmother was playing. Do yep. you see that there is a a greater uh, breadth that you'd be able to actually expand it out? Yeah, definitely. Well, um, I was actually, I was approached by O'Brien Press last year. So I've just written a book for O'Brien Press, which is a dream come true. Um, so that'll be different to the Izzy books, but it is around a sporting theme, but it's for an older age group. So I'm kind of hoping that kids that maybe started off with Izzy would go on to, to this book. That'll be out next March. And um, so I'm doing edits on that at the moment. But the Izzy series is very much alive and well. We've written a Christmas book and Paul has illustrated it, Paul Nugent, and it's just spectacular. Paul has, um, Santa plays GA and it's just, it's fabulous. He's really brought it to life with the illustrations. So we're very excited about the Christmas book. That'll be out next month. And yeah, there's big plans for next year that Izzy can play soccer. She could do athletics. Um, there's a lot of, um, of good role models out there. She could do golf, like Leona Maguire. Do you know, there's, you know, we could keep going. Yeah, we... We're really we're kind of building a little business around it now so hopefully yeah, it'll keep going yeah it's really good and and great as well that it's focusing on the on the girl side of it because there is kind of a more of a tradition i know gordon darcy has written books and mm -hmm. there's you know there's a few others that have actually sort of dipped in and created the kind of the hero stories i grew yeah. up with roy of the rovers yes. and yeah. you know the, yeah. the comic books which mm -hmm. generally featured boys which is mm -hmm. the way that sport was but uh, but changing yeah. now so uh so brilliant job that you're actually doing on uh you know on that all the way through um the 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 sort of the sense of of where we are in Ireland versus international, because you probably did a little bit of research as to you know the, the kind of books that were available out mm -hmm. there as well. Do you think are we are we ahead of the curve in terms of the way that we're dealing with sport with kids, or do you think that is there are there lessons to be learned from elsewhere? I think we're doing quite well. I mean, there's in, there's English books um, written by a lady Helena Peelchatty. I think they're about girls playing soccer, and she discovered my books on Twitter, and she was kind of. Um, what's the word, kind of surprised that there was books like that in Ireland. I suppose there aren't still a huge amount of books with girls in a sporting role, even in the UK. So it's, it's. I think we're doing quite well. I really do. Yeah. That's great. Well, long, long may it last and long may I see the, the crowd that are packing out Crow Park in the background on the yeah. front cover of, uh, of Izzy's Magical yeah. Football Adventure. We yeah. didn't quite get to 82,000 yet, but it's only a matter of time. Who knows, maybe Izzy will be taking to the fields playing for Kerry if, uh, if, that, do, if that does come to pass. Um, look, it's been really great chatting to you. Um, yeah. Thanks a million mm -hmm. for what you're doing because it really is special. It's in a, a really good place as regards inspiring the kids because it can't all be about the athletes and the you know and the great you know people out there if we can actually take something that makes it more normal and if it's inspired by your granny even better still so emma lark and the very best of luck with uh, with the, the, the adventure that you